What's going on guys? I'm Mr. Techbot. That's the brand new Disney Wish, and here's your five minutes of Disney. This morning uh first time it's it's made its, its land out here in florida so it's fantastic the thing is beautiful of course we can't go inside but the shift from the outside looks fantastic of course it took three months to go from germany out here to orlando now what's coming up next for the disney wish is the 29th of june is going to have its christening ceremony and then on um july 14th is going to have its maiden voyage we of course don't have access to the maiden voyage but we are going to try to be here at both the christening and the maiden voyage probably out at jetty park to watch this thing set sail for the first time. Um, I can't wait and uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Maybe live, maybe a video, I don't know, stay tuned. Also, what's going on, Grand Floridian. I know a lot of you love Grand Floridian, it's a beautiful resort, but there is a lot going on over at Big Pine Key. They're changing it from a normal hotel to a DVC location. Um, with this, it's gonna open up about 200 more rooms for DVC members to be able to stay at the Grand Floridian. It's gonna mimic a lot of the rooms that are already over at the DVC building. Um, and this thing's gonna be fantastic. So they have a lot of scaffolding going up on the front end because they're doing a lot of work on the front end to make it um, and, you know, that, that much better for everybody. Of course, you know, in, anytime they do some renovation, they're gonna continue to renovate it all. Up next is Hollywood and Vine. It is out at Hollywood Studios. Uh, of course, it opened up as a prefix uh, location about a year ago uh, due to COVID restrictions. And on August 28th of this year, it is finally opening back up as a buffet restaurant. Characters in the mornings will be uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and for lunch and dinner will be Minnie and Friends. If you're looking for characters for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, definitely check out the mornings. They've got some great new breakfast options where they have the brioche French toast with the bananas foster syrup, as well as a salmon and bagel casserole. Now for lunch and dinner, they have options such as a plant-based roast Roasted mushroom farro risotto as well as a slow roasted pork belly definitely sounds good uh and it's going to be buffet style so you can find what you like you can eat as much as fish of course as you know fireworks are coming back up back in in a few weeks and last year was only magic kingdom this year this is the first time in the past two years that the fireworks are returning to epcot due to covid restrictions uh, they will be starting at 9 p.m and they'll be doing a full run of harmonious and then afterwards they'll be having the fourth of july fireworks and um it should be fantastic they usually start it with showing off american adventure um is great it's usually fantastic it, the finale usually lights up the sky i'm going to try to be there but it, it, that location usually gets packed so we'll definitely see so wait and see if what we're going to be able to find lastly for all you annual pass holders out there as well as florida residents if you want to try to get into a fantastic hotel such as the swan and dolphin right now they are doing it 30 percent off they are not a sponsor if you are a annual pass holder or a florida resident take advantage of the swan and dolphin 30 percent off deal um, because that way you also will get access early into the parks just like the resort guests at disney so other than that that's all i got don't forget to comment like and subscribe and then also check out that join button i always appreciate it and as i always like to say do what you like do what you love and always guys unleash inner nerd <laughs>